Hey guys, I'm Andre, a certified translator here in Minsk and a real estate concierge. And today we're running a quick update about COVID, travel and COVID, economy and politics. I'm not a professional journalist, so the last two issues are more like rumors, so don't take it too seriously. But many rumors have a grain of truth. Politics and sanctions. From the political perspective, everything is quite simple. The uh, sanctions were introduced after the Ryanair thing, late May. Since that time, I haven't really had any tourism or any hope to revive my old trade. That's about it. Sanctions are going to have a bad impact on the economy long term. And now some uh, state enterprises which are hit by the sanctions, who, which depend on the foreign supplies or foreign exports, are not very happy about it but again the impact is delayed so we're gonna see some issues with the economy next year that's the general feeling uh, political sanctions uh, also include the end of the visa free mode for the americans please watch my video about u.s applicants for visa uh, from america and the uh, uh, new development is our consulate is shut down in new york our politicians claim on the insisting of uh, the american side well that could be true but the consulate is down and there's just one left in washington i believe the month of august saw a drop in the real salaries uh, the average salaries in vitebsk region which is one of the skinniest is 1200 rubles per person and somebody in vitebsk could say whoa 1200 rubles a month that can't be true in Minsk, it's about 1,500 rubles per person per month. The salaries have dropped in August. Inflation in August is about 10% and the general expectation that the annual prognosis for inflation, 9 point something, is not going to be real. And at the end of the year, we're going to have a higher inflation than 10%. The traditional salary drops uh, impacted the following fields, uh, finance, insurance, uh, car repair, uh, the uh, healthcare sector. Uh, the healthcare sector here may have an explanation by COVID bonuses. Now they are more and more reluctant to pay the medics for their struggle, and the struggle is pretty bad and ongoing. And uh, in car repair, it's hard to explain that because a lot of money in the car repair industry is actually going from pocket to pocket, avoiding all the official bureaucracy. So it's just a big question about how accurate that statistics is. In real estate, the prices are going down because bank loans are not very helpful. They're about 20% annual interest rate. The pensions, the salaries, they're all going down. And although August this year saw some kind of a year's peak in deals for real estate, uh, one bedroom uh, about 30 square meters would cost around $40,000 here in Minsk. The uh, following months are unlikely to see any increase of that. The peak may be explained by several factors uh, like uh, delayed operations. They started in uh, April, May, they finished just now and uh, maybe some um, uh, expectations of the economy improving which were probably very optimistic things but uh, that never happened. The economy is not improving and the newly built lodge, uh, a, lot of the, a lot of supply in the market is also affecting this situation. The buyers are waiting and the buyers are not really uh, going into expensive deals or unreasonably, uh, unreasonably priced deals in real estate right now. The best selling options, one bedrooms and two bedrooms here in Minsk, averagely cost per square meter 1300 slightly over $1,300. One bedrooms in Minsk went for about $1,450. Two bedrooms went for about $1,320 per square meter. That's the average per square meter prices that were paid uh, this, uh, these last months here in Minsk. As for the fourth wave of COVID, things are becoming more and more dramatic. And it's not just media, doctors, friends of friends. The word is going that the country is going through the fourth and pretty bad wave of Delta variant. Guys, I'm not going to criticize if it's bad or good, if it exists or not. It's all up to you, vaccinations and all the stuff. Let's just see what are the travel requirements. There's still seven day self-isolation for those who are not vaccinated. It uh, doesn't matter which vaccination you had, but if you have 30 days from the last second shot, and that's on the paper in English ideally, that's your clearance from self-isolation. Self-isolation is seven days, unless you're in a business visit. Uh, business visit can also allow you to come to uh, Belarus overland, landing in Vilnius or Warsaw, taking a bus over here may save you a ton of money. If you have any technical questions about how this works, please message me directly. 
in your country, by the way, need your opinion, guys. In your country, what's the view over this Delta variation? How is vaccination uh, percepted? What are the side effects? Have your friends, uh, relatives been affected by vaccines? Please tell me what you think in the comments, because here we are really struggling between not believing the government and taking the official health care advice, advice about Chinese vaccine, Russian vaccine, or no vaccine and, you know, cheerful death in the emergency room. Tell me what you think, guys. I'll be happy to hear your opinion. Something real strange is happening to the figures of the healthcare ministry. As you remember, we had 10 dead persons, uh, death relates, uh, death, deaths related to COVID, every, every month, every day of the previous months, rarely 11 or 12. Now it's 15, 16, 17. And although for a while they didn't declare more than 2,000 cases a day, now we just broke 2,000 cases while I was recording this material. The, yesterday's figure was 2,000 something cases uh, for the whole country. Informally, it's rumored that these figures are doctored and the real figure of cases is a bit higher than that, but let's go with the official information. It's up, up to you to believe or not believe in what you, what you hear from the media. Again, by word of mouth, friends of friends, doctors who work and know and blah, 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 deal with it, uh, very much advocate vaccination, saying that it's going to improve your immunity and you're not going to make it to the EMT, unlike the uh, uh, emergency ward. Unlike the unvaccinated guys who are jamming these emergency rooms and who are not having much fun when it's uh, becoming really critical. Delta variation is described as a very aggressive thing. Uh, it's uh, now 40 year old group, age group, which is hit by it, not necessarily weight complications and other issues that will get you into grave or into a pretty uh, long term hospital treatment. So uh, that's what they say, even though uh, this is not really being pushed onto the population. They speak about it more and more in the media and uh, the only introduction enforcement uh, lately was to have those masks worn in public, um, enforced by means of, you know, warnings and then fines. What fines, how much and how they'll be charged. I guess it's about uh, to be uh, clarified, uh, the new law to be adopted and enforced because, because they say it's becoming too bad for this. Vaccination is not mandatory yet. They just speak about it. Let's see how things happen, how it works. But doctors in their interviews say that uh, we are straining our resources. We seem to be well supplied, but uh, traffic of people is not dying. And we just convert hospitals from routine visits into these uh, COVID cases, which is not very good. Government employees pass the word that here and there, they are kindly asked to get vaccinated. They are pretty much very kindly motivated to do that. People turn it down or accept it for their various reasons. So it's like everybody's choice whether or not to trust the system or to go with your own goddamn feelings. It's really a lottery, guys. Please tell me what you think about the Russian vaccination or the Chinese vaccine. And, uh, you know, it will be helpful to know your opinion. Thank you very much for being with the channel. Uh, put a few coins, uh, push a few coins down the links under the video. It will be very helpful to upgrade the metal. As you see, the video has improved slightly. Now I'm looking to get a better audio system, better sound for you. And uh, press a like, comment underneath, uh, travel safely. If you have any visa or relocation questions, I'm officially in that business now. I'm very happy to answer your questions. Regards from Minsk, travel safely and cheers, bye.